Oh, hi everyone. My name is Charles, and this is the update report from the USGS for September 3rd, 2022 at 4.32 p.m. for the Mauna Loa Volcano Eruption. They say that the Northeast Rift Zone uh, eruption of Mauna Loa continues with little change since this morning. One active fissure, Fissure 3, is feeding a lava flow down slope. Fissure 3 is generating a lava flow traveling to the north towards the DKI Highway, also known as Saddle Road, that has reached relatively flatter ground and slowed down significantly over the past several days, as expected. As of 1 p.m. today, December 3rd, the flow front was about 2.4 miles, or 3.9 kilometers, from the DKI Highway. During the past 24 hours, though, the lava flow advanced at an average rate of about 40 feet per hour, or 13 meters per hour. Though the advance rate has slowed over the past 24 hours, the lava flow remains active. Advance rates may be highly variable over the coming days and weeks. On the flat ground between Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea, lava flows advance more slowly, spread out, and inflate. Individual lobes may advance quickly and then stall. Additional breakouts may occur if lava channels get blocked upslope. There are many variables at play, and both the direction and timing of the flow advances are expected to change over periods of hours to days, making it difficult to estimate when or if the flow will impact the DKI, DKI Highway, also known as Saddle Road. Volcanic gas plumes are lofting high and vertically into the atmosphere before being blown to the west at high altitude, generating fog in areas downwind. Pele's hair, which are strands of volcanic glass fragments, are being wafted at great distances and have been reported as far as Mauna Kea Visitor Information Station. Sulfur dioxide SO2 emission rates of approximately 180,000 tons per day uh, were measured on December 1st, 2022, while tremor, a signal associated with subsurface fluid movement, continues in the location of the currently active fissures. This indicates that magma is still being supplied to the fissure and activity is likely to continue as long as we see this signal. There is no active lava within the Mount Loa caldera and the southwest rift zone is not erupting. We do not expect any eruptive activity outside of the Northeast Rift Zone, and currently no property is at risk. And that'll do it for this update from the USGS for December 3rd, 2022.